So I'll just give you a little overview of everything here. It's getting a little messy, like all of this is either new things I'm trying out. Um, same with this. This corner kind of stays the same, but all this, I don't like, this is like too much. And then I find the more I have kind of spread out, then I find myself only reaching for these things, if that makes sense. I need to do something with the lipstick organization. I'm thinking about buying something different um, and maybe using this for other makeup because I thought I would put seasonal lipsticks up here, you know, switch them out, but I don't know that that's really working either. So let's start over here. Um, Beauty Blender just stays here. I don't know about you guys. I don't wash it after I'm finished using it. I wash it before because I'm getting it wet anyway, if that makes sense. So I'm pretty good about keeping this clear, but um, there are a few that need to be taken out. These are some new ones that I need to talk about in an upcoming video. So this is the um, Tarte the Maracuja Miracle Foundation. This came um, with this palette. So this lipstick, um, or you know, like a lip gloss, this brush, and this. I have to say, um, I don't love this foundation. I'll probably give it away. I don't like the mechanism at the top. And I just didn't find it to wow me. And I don't really love the lip color. Um, I do like the palette though, and I like this brush. So those two I need to get rid of, uh, give away. An airplane just went by. You could probably hear that in the background. And then some of these are old. Um, the Pond's BB Cream. I actually like this, but I think I've had it a little too long. And I honestly like others better. Um, if you're just looking for one from the drugstore, though, this is a really good one. And I think it has pretty decent coverage. And then I've mentioned before, I really should probably get rid of um, my two bourgeois foundations. I've had them for quite a while now, not really reaching for them anymore. I hate to get rid of them because they're so hard to get now in the U.S. Um, I really like this one. This one is probably my favorite, the Healthy Mix. I don't know what to do about the Dior Star. Um, I don't know if I should try to mix it with things. It's just now not my favorite. It's one of those, when it works, it's fantastic. Um, I mentioned that in my review video. I really like it, but it just is sometimes too hard to work with. They're the Lingerie de Poe and then the Estee Lauder Perfectionist. Those are my two favorite high end. So I'm going to hold on to this. I thought about giving it away. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure what to do with that, honestly. And then, um, so everything else is staying. So let me actually now move these two new ones uh, over here. And again, I'll speak more about those two in an upcoming video. So let's start at the top here. Um, this is that Pixie Quad that I had talked about. I actually got, I don't know, it was on sale at Target. Um, I really like this, but I don't find myself um, reaching for it. It's kind of dusty. I feel like all my things up here get dusty um, more easy. This one is the Shades of Taupe. Again, I think it's really pretty, but it might um, go over here in my to-go pile. And this is kind of just over here because I'm not sure about this is my It Cosmetics Ombre Bronzer. Definitely keeping that. It's so big though, I usually have to keep it up here. Same with my Bobbi Brown Bronzer. Absolutely love that, not getting rid of it. Same with my Sleek Blushes. I have two of the three. Um, there's three colors in here and then this single one. Keeping those. These NYX Blushes, they're okay. Um, I think I've shown them in a haul before. Um, I have this one in Chiffon. And I like it, but I don't reach for them. I probably like this one better, so I'll probably keep this one if I'm going to keep any of them. Um, and then this one's Wonderless, so I'll keep Wonderless. I mean, I think this is beautiful. I just don't think it translates. See how there's like, I mean, I'm really rubbing because these are pretty hard blushes. I just don't think you get much color payoff, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. So this top drawer here, I don't think I ever go in this anymore, honestly. It holds um, my MAC, you know, natural mineralized skin finish. It holds, you know, some bare minerals, uh, some of the smaller ones and a big one. I do use the Laura Geller from time to time. This is the um, Balance and Brighten, I believe it's called. This Milani face powder, from what I remember, I like it, but I don't reach for it at all. This is in light tan, so um, I'm gonna get rid of it. And as you can see, it still has all the embossing on it. So I've not used it a lot. 
um, so I'm not going to keep it. I have two Smashbox powders. These used to be my absolute favorite mineral kind of powders back, I mean, years and years ago when these first came out. Five, six plus years ago. This is the Halo, by the way, it's called. I have it in light, and then I believe this one... Well, this one's scratched off. So I'm going to keep these for now and decide what I want to do with them. Um, I would really like to start wearing these again. I think the color changed or something maybe on one of them. So I need to give those a better look um, and figure that out. Next door is bronzers. Love this. This is my e.l.f. golden bronzer. I talk about that a lot. You can see I use it a ton. So that's definitely staying. I don't love this bronzer from Ulta. Um, it's very pretty sometimes as a body bronzer though. So I am going to keep it and see if I use it this summer. If I don't use it this summer, I'll get rid of it. The L'Oreal True Match. This is a great um, contour if you just buy like a regular matte powder in like a couple shades darker in your skin. So I am going to keep this and see if I still use it. This is the NYC, um, I believe in Sunny is the bronzer. This was like really popular uh, here on YouTube. I have used it, you can see, but it's just too orangey. It just does not look good on me. You definitely need a darker skin tone for this to look natural. So that's going. Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana. I definitely use that from time to time. This is the original NYX blush in taupe. I'll hold on to it. I might use it as an eyeshadow or something, and it's definitely nice to compare uh, to the new one. So for now, for right now, I will leave it in there. So this cargo was my very first bronzer ever, like back years and years ago when bronzers first started coming out. I believe this is their um, water resistant bronzer. And you can see I used quite a bit of it. Cause like I said, this was back when bronzers weren't really on the market, weren't popular, um, but it needs to go. It's old and I don't use it anymore, but I did really like it and I believe they still make it. So actually I'm going to put my It Cosmetics in there now that it fits. Um, blush drawer. I separate these kind of into corals and then pinks. So this is the pink drawer you can see. Uh, Lorac Velvet Rope, one of my all-time favorites. It's definitely staying. This is MAC Stunner. I really like this one. I haven't used it enough lately, but I do like it. This blush from Smashbox is so old, but honestly, it's one of my all-time favorites. So it's just their, um you know, soft light blush duo in split second. So I am going to keep this probably for, more for nostalgic purposes, which I told myself I wouldn't do that. I'm going to see if I'm going to use it. Um, if I don't, I'll get rid of it. So e.l.f. blush in, this is in Mellow Mauve. Again, one of my all-time favorite blushes. This is the Rimmel Match Perfection Blush. I talked about this, I believe, in my, um, fall blush favorites. I do really like this, but I usually only use it that time of year. So I am going to keep it, but it's going to stay back there. This Stila cream blush. I don't know if I got it with something in peony. I thought I would use it, but I just don't enjoy cream blushes. So I'm getting rid of that. Um, Alani blush in Berry Amore. I really like this one in the fall as well, but it, um, that's about the only time I use it. And then I recently spoke about this blush trying to kind of dupe something. I do really like the color. It is um, Plumberry Glow, so I'm going to keep that. However, this one by Milani, I should have never purchased this because my skin's just too light for it. I know you can wear um, this color blush, you know, having fair skin, but it does not work with me and it's a uh, Bella Rosa. I just think it's it's too pigmented and it's kind of hard to blend out. So um, getting rid of that. So now that I got rid of that one, I'm gonna make room uh, for the one that was sitting here. This one from CoverGirl, um, I like it, but honestly, now that I have this one, I think I'm going to get rid of this one. This one from uh, Laura Geller. I do use this once in a while, but it's more for the highlight. I think that's their French Vanilla Highlight over there. So this is the Baked Dreams Highlighter and Blush in Neapolitan. This came with a set. So I am going to keep this for now. If I don't end up using it this summer, I'll toss it. This was the limited edition years and years ago, Everything Under the Sun by Wet n Wild. So I'm definitely keeping that. Rockateur by Benefit. I really need to be better about using that. I really like it. Um, I don't know. I just don't find myself reaching for it. Again, it's one of those I'll probably use more in the fall. These are more kind of peachy 
um, color blushes. Coralista, this is probably one of my all-time favorite blushes, hands down. There's also a few highlighters in here. Um, L'Oreal True Match. This is in Baby Blossom. Absolutely love this one. I need to get it back out. This is a cream blush by NYX. I think it came in um, some kind of, you know, box or something. I don't really like cream blushes I've mentioned before, so that's going away. This is um, Stereo Rose, I believe. Yes, I use that. And then these couple of little products I don't use. I thought I would, um, but... You know, they survived basically like the last go around. So, this is High Beam by Benefit. And then um, this is the What's Up. Um, I just don't use products like that. I, I like powder highlighters better. This is a um, blush by Bare Minerals. I keep saying I'm going to use. I think it's in the color Timeless. I don't know. I'm going to hold on to it to see, but I usually don't use it. Um, this is an old... Smashbox blush I can get rid of. I do like the colors. I like that it has, um, you know, both of these in it together, but it's just old and I don't reach for it. This is an e.l.f. blush. I absolutely love I used this a lot when I first got it, but I need to use it again. It's so pretty. It's in the color uh, Peachy Cheeky, by the way. This is a Tarte Highlighter in Champagne. I actually do use this quite a bit. I've been using some other things recently, but I do like this one. And this Physician's Formula Blush, again, I like this. I just don't find myself um, reaching for it. It's the Happy Booster in Natural, but I am going to go ahead and keep it. I believe this is probably NARS Orgasm. I don't reach for this. I don't know why. I think I'm the only person on the planet that I think NARS blushes are hard, and they don't translate well to the cheeks at least on me I found I am going to keep this one but I'll talk about another one here in a minute that I think I'm going to get rid of this is an enormous um smash box sorry my hands are real dry so they probably look like old and wrinkly this is like a gorgeous highlight but it's enormous so I don't find myself reaching for it and um, let's see it's in the color allure it's really, really pretty. I, I should use it. I should probably put it um, up here on the top. Maybe I'll do that. And then that, that way I'll look for it. And then let me move this down here. So now that I have room for that. So clean out that drawer a little bit there. Okay, here's where we get into just, I swear, things I don't use. I've mentioned before, I'm not really good about using um, single eyeshadows i buy them and then i never use them it seems like so a lot from this drawer um i know can just go so i have this light on i know it kind of makes it a little bright right here so these two milani um shadows when they came out i thought okay let me try to use those i think they're beautiful colors so i am going to keep them i'm going to try to be better about using um the ones i keep this one, this one from Laura Geller, I've had forever. Um, I keep thinking I'm going to use it, um, but it's in Bewitching Bronze. I just don't, so it's going to go. Steal a Kitten, probably one of my all-time favorite eyeshadows ever. Um, as you can see, I do use that, so obviously it's staying. This one from Benefit, I absolutely love. Um, used it a lot when I first got it, but... Um, that's the name of it, by the way. Quick Look Busy. So, I do love this. It's actually one of my favorite dark browns, probably. Again, another from Laura Geller. Um, this came in that, um, I don't know, that kit where that blush came from. And I don't use it, so it's going. This is in Burnt Plum. Uh, I might use this in the fall, so I'm going to go ahead and keep it. So, the famous uh, Burberry Midnight Brown. It's an absolutely great shadow, but as you can see... I've only used it up here in this corner. I just don't use it much. I like it. It's a pretty color. The packaging is absolutely gorgeous. I just don't find myself reaching for it. Um, I don't know why. This Lorac shadow, I thought I would get use out of it. It kind of survived the last um, purge, but I'm going to get rid of it because I don't use it. Um, I don't know. It's a little too like creamy, powdery, and I just don't like the color. Uh, same with this one. It's actually broken over there. This is in guest list. So this I bought some of you may remember if you've been around that long when um, 
Gretchen from The Real Housewives um, came out with her makeup line. I had purchased several things. Curious about the line and actually I liked several things from her line. This was a single shadow um, and I actually really liked the color and used it quite a bit. It's a matte shadow in Storm but I've had it a while and I've not been reaching for it so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. Just make room for other things. This is a NYX shadow that I absolutely love. Uh, I need to use it more. It's in the color Damage Control. Such like a gorgeous taupe shade. So I definitely love that one. So these Sephora singles, everybody was raving about them. So of course I ended up getting them when they were like on clearance. Um, this one is in Outrageous Metallic Purple. I would have to say I don't love this one, so I'm getting rid of it. But I am gonna try to use this taupe one. So I got quite the little pile going on here of stuff I'm getting rid of. Um, this I really do like. Um, I mentioned it before, the Maybelline Chic Naturals and Dusk. Um, both very pretty colors, so I'm going to try to use this one as well. Same thing with this one, um, the Tastefully Taupe. It's very pretty. It's probably really similar to that shade. I'm going to go ahead and hang on to it for now and hopefully I get some use out of it. Another gorgeous drugstore taupe. So this is Tapestry Taupe. I've thought about before doing my favorite taupe shadow video, um, but I just never have. You can see I've used this one quite a bit. This one is really pretty. I need to use it more. Okay, the next one. This is Small Palettes, and this is one of those drawers I never, never go into. It's not that I don't like them. I just don't go into it. So I can tell you right now, this is that limited edition that also went with that Wet n Wild blush. I'm going to keep it just because they're gorgeous shades and it was limited edition. Um, this is the Gilded Age, although there's a lot of colors dupable. Matter of fact, in the Naked, Urban Decay Naked palette, you could probably find all of those. So pretty much all of my Wet n Wild um, trios are in here. They're all, you know, stacked up on top of each other. This one, um, Cover Girl, this is really pretty as well. I just don't find myself reaching for it anymore at all. So I'm actually going to get rid of it because if I'm going to reach for anything like this and neutral shades, it's probably going to be uh, from Wet n Wild. So I also have um, some Maybelline. Um, I have this one, these three from Maybelline. Uh, this one's probably my favorite. So this is actually the Stylish Smokes. Love this palette. It's so beautiful. That dark brown is probably one of the best browns I've ever seen. It's very comparable. It reminds me to this Revlon one, which I also love. Um, so if you're looking for a good um, drugstore quad, this one is in Moonlit, and I've talked about this years ago, but I really do like this one. So again, I'm going to keep this one. Hopefully, I'll use it. I would have to say I bought this on a whim. I'm not sure why, but I don't like it. Greens don't look the best on me. This one's okay. I didn't get that much use out of it, but I am going to keep it. Hopefully, this fall, I'll get some looks out of it because that's like a pretty color for the fall. This palette's from Misha, and I really love this one as well, but just haven't used it. Um, again, it's kind of along those same lines as this one. You know, it has like the dark brown, the taupe, you know, the light shade, the medium. But it's a little sparkly, as you can tell. Um, so I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. It's a beautiful, heavy packaging. I mean, the packaging is absolutely stunning. Um, and it's nice. They're very nice eyeshadows. They're just a little more sparkly than... I like these days. Um, usually I'll do like one inner corner sparkle, but not all of them. And the bottom is basically some cream shadows and shadow sticks. This is definitely the drawer I never reach for. There are certain ones that I love. Um, like this one, the Makeup Forever. This is a number 16. It's a beautiful pink. I just need to wear it more. I've actually been wearing um, this one, so I've had it sitting out. This, I think, might have been limited edition, though. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this is a nude compliment. This one is stunning. This, by far, is one of my favorites. If you have this one or can still get it, um, definitely recommend it. Again, it's beautiful. So, I've been wearing that a, long, a lot on the weekend. My second favorite and probably most used is the um, Pure Nude by Maybelline. Love that one. Barely Branded is another one I like, but I actually prefer this one. Um, these can go because I know I'm gonna eat, not going to use them and they're old. Um, this was from a collection years ago. Pomegranate Punk. Uh, mossy Green. So I'm not going to use that. I think I will keep this one for the time being. Toughest Taupe. Uh, this is just an old cream shadow. I don't even know who it's by but it can go because I know it's old. 
Uh, again, MAC Paint Pot in Constructivist. I've had this a long time, you can see. I've actually opened this up and swirled it around, um, you know, put it in the microwave a little bit. But I just, I don't know, I don't love the color as much as I used to. It used to be my favorite. Um, the last one is Rich Mahogany. Again, this was from that collection, I think, with the mossy green, so I don't think it's any longer uh, available. I, I did the same thing with it, but let's see, it probably... Yeah, it's like dry as can be, even though I, you know, use a toothpick, microwave hole, all that. So, all of these are going. Oh, the shadow sticks. I never use these anymore. The NYX, I use one. The Ice Mocha, you all know that's my absolute favorite. I use it a lot. Um, so, all these are old and they are going, especially um, the milk. I bought this, um, I don't know, not too long ago, Jordana the um, continuous almond. I don't like it. I don't like the consistency. So I'm getting rid of that one as well. Okay, so here's one I have out um, because I've had it for a few months now, but this is the L'Oreal. I really like these. I've only tried the one. This is in the color, it's not gonna show because it's metallic there, Forever Taupe. So you can see they're really similar. I actually prefer the L'Oreal. So while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to get rid of the Sephora and I will keep the L'Oreal. Okay, so I'll keep both of those. I think the Sephora is a little more purple uh, than the L'Oreal. It's a Mali Shadow Stick and Saddle Shimmer. Um, I don't remember loving the color, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Another one of the NYX I'm getting rid of. Um, Urban Decay Rehab, I do like that one, so I'll keep it. This is a beautiful color, but I don't like the formula. I think they were getting rid of these, the CoverGirl Shadow Blast. Again, the color is beautiful, but I don't like the formula of it. And another small little pencil. I don't even know. This is wet and wild. I know it's old, so I'm getting rid of it. So that drawer is significantly uh, smaller than it was. So this is my middle drawer, um, and it gets used, I don't know, here and there. I feel like, you know, it's kind of hit and miss. So um, some other palettes in here. This is like my larger palettes, I'd have to say. So Sonia Kashuk palettes, different things like that. For some reason, I have this eye show in here. I bought this mainly for the packaging. This is um, Soul Serenade from the Aquatics collection. I have a lip gloss with this collection too that I actually use. I never use this though. I don't know if I should sell it if any of you are interested. I mean you can see you can still see the imprint on it so I barely used it. Let me know. Oh I do like this shadow. I don't know why I keep it in this drawer but I use this quite a bit. This is Earthly Taupe by Maybelline so I'll move this into the single shadows. So this one I ended up not wearing as much. Um, it's kind of like a peachy rose gold shade from Maybelline. It's called Pink Wink. I'm gonna keep it and hopefully I use it this summer. If not, I will throw it away. So like I said, just some um, palettes here. Okay, this is the one you guys might be surprised about. I never use this. You know, the limited edition NARS blush palette. I just, I'm thinking about selling it. Let me know if any of you are interested. It still has the plastic. I reach for it once in a while, and honestly, the shades, I don't know, there's just nothing about it that kind of wows me. Um, I've used the highlight, you know, a little bit, but you know, if you guys might be interested um, in it, but I am seriously thinking about selling it just because I just don't really reach for it. I thought it would be great for travel, um, but I don't know. It's kind of big for that too. I really love the shades. I just don't find myself uh, reaching for it. So, so far these two, I can definitely uh, say I'm getting rid of. And then everything else in here, um, you know, I'm keeping MAC shadows, things like that, Makeup Geek shadows. So those are all staying. So this is um, probably my most used drawer here. Um, brow products over here, keeping all those, they're all fairly new. Lip balms, uh, my Dior Creme de Rose, my absolute favorite. So eye drops, things like that. These I all I use. Um, here's that NYX Jumbo Pencil and Ice Mocha. I keep it in here because I use it a lot. What really needs cleaned out is probably the concealers. Um, the pow there's these are powders. Um, a couple of single eyeshadows. I could probably get rid of this. I don't wear this anymore. But you can see it's still 
probably half full the benefit power flage i just don't um i found things i like better it's a good product i just don't use it anymore some um cream eyeshadows i wear once in a while um this is slate by tarte really love that one well, infallible um in there so just some things i reach for some my hourglass powders so this over here um i'm gonna actually talk about these in a video you've never heard me talk about these the becca mineral powders these are the cases that go with them. So I really need to clean some things out in here. And some things I've had in my collection for far too long. I'm going to finally get rid of the Cinema Secrets palettes. I'm just going to order new ones. What I do is normally scrape off uh, probably the top quarter of them after so many months. Because they are a cream product. I've had them probably, I know longer than I should for a cream. But they still work really well. They don't smell. They're still the same nice creamy consistency. I mean, these are excellent. Um, and I've kept them for as long as I have just because they still seem like new. And again, I scrape off the top every now and then just to keep them somewhat sanitary. But I am, I haven't been using them in a while. Thankfully, I haven't had that much to cover or anything crazy color. So I am going to go ahead and get rid of them though. This Sonia Kashuk, um, I mentioned in a video, it was way too dark for me. And it's in the color ivory, believe it or not. This is more from a medium skin tone. Um, so I'm definitely getting rid of this. I My thing is, I don't know who uses this. Like, I would love to just give this to someone, but, because um, it's like brand new. I mean, like, literally, I've probably used it two or three times. Um, concealers. This can go, I've just had it too long and I'm never using it anymore. I really love the idea of stick concealers. Um, I just don't find myself reaching for this. This is the Olay, CoverGirl and Olay. Same with this. It's just old. It's really good concealer though. It's the Revlon Color Stay, or actually I think it's Photo Ready is the name of it. For MAC Pro Long Wears. Uh, ever since I discovered the Maybelline Fit Me, I have not been using these at all. But I love keeping them around because they're great to like, you know, mix with another concealer maybe to help it match or, you know, use as a foundation uh, or like, you know, change colors of foundation. You could use it with a moisturizer to make your own tinted moisturizer. These are just fantastic, so I'll definitely keep them. These are really old and I know I should get rid of them. The same thing, they don't even make these anymore or they don't make the corrector anyway. Um, but again, I scrape off like a ton and then keep using them. Again, they're still just as creamy as the day I bought them. They don't smell, they work still. Um, once in a while I bring these out and use them, but I am gonna go ahead and toss them. So the rest of the concealers I use somewhat uh, regularly. So just like powders, concealers, things like that. So that's what's in there. Next is mascara. Oh my God, this is the worst part right here is these are all face primers. I, I use like two of them, that's it. Maybe, okay, three. If I want to count this as a primer, um, the Clarins Beauty Flash Balm, love that. Um, love the uh, Professional by Benefit, it's probably my favorite. This is my favorite eye primer. The rest of them, I never use, or I've used a few times. Like, honestly, the Smashbox, um, for both the eyes and the face, I don't like either one of these. I don't think they're very good. This is actually pretty good from Olay. I just don't find myself reaching for it. It's kind of one of those pore minimizer um, fillers. You know, it's like silicone base, but it is pretty nice. Um, this is the Radiance Foundation Primer. I do use this once in a while, and I like it. But the rest um, can probably go. And this is good, the um, Faux Tan Face to mix in with something to make it a little darker. I do like this. This is definitely one of my um, all-time favorite face primers. I just don't find myself reaching for primers in general much anymore. So this is the Makeup Forever HD. It is a good one though. So these are back. This is where powder goes to die. <laughs> I have not looked in this uh, little section. I don't know how long. Um, this is actually, if you have oily skin, this is the Palladio Rice Powder. It's a very good powder. Um, I haven't had oily skin though in a while. This is the original Mineral Veil. I think I was just keeping this for the container because I have a small one I use. This absolutely love. This is the, um, the Mali uh, Face Defender. I don't like this, but somebody said it's really great in like hot and humid climates. So I may try it um, 
you know, if I find I need something like that going on vacation, but I didn't like this. Oh, and somebody asked me recently, um, this was my favorite uh, powder for I don't know how long, the Too Faced Prime to Poreless. Um, it really does minimize pores. If you have oily skin, it just makes your skin look absolutely flawless. So I'm going to keep that. This I like, um, and I pulled it out not too long ago, but I just don't find myself needing something like this. Kind of like a color correcting powder. Oh, uh, the Laura Mercier. This is the translucent powder. It's okay. I'm going to go ahead and keep it, but I don't find myself reaching for it. This I think had like a strong scent. The Physicians Formula, um, Youthful Wear. It says translucent. You're not going to see it. Translucent. There you go. Illuminating finish. I didn't really think it did anything from what I remember, so it's going. Liners. I used to wear gel liner constantly, um, liquid liners. I just don't find myself reaching for gel liner that often. Um, these are all my favorites, though, so I'm not going to get rid of them. And as you can see, I don't have a ton. A lot of them are in different colors. As far as um, the liquid liners, these have been my favorites for as long as they've had them on the market. <laughs> these L'Oreal, um, I always wore it in brown and charcoal. These I think I can keep because they're not real old, but um, I just haven't been wearing them recently. The backup mascara here. I'm not sure why I have this one because I don't recall loving it when I first purchased it a long time ago, but we'll see. Just the box to a new one I opened. This is the Estee Lauder uh, Sumptuous Extreme. These I probably need to clean out. Like I know this one's old. Um, this used to be my favorite, the Prestige My Blackest Lashes. It's really good. It's just old, so I definitely need to toss it. This one's new, still has the wrapper. This can go. I know I haven't used it in a while. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with this mascara. Sometimes it's great. Sometimes I think it's clumpy. L'Oreal Telescopic, one of my all-time favorites. New Tarte came with that um, palette. I'm still kind of testing it out. I don't think I love it. YSL Baby Doll. These are some samples, and I'm trying to think. Oh, the Hitmos Drama. I think I just opened that not long ago. Um, this is the Dior. This is the Dior Show Iconic Overcurl. I don't think this did anything for my lashes. I don't know if it was like already too dried out or something, but yeah, I didn't care for this one. Oh, the Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant. I think this is new. I don't like the smoky lash, but I think the extravagance is new, so I haven't tried that. Um, Bobbi Brown, I was using this up, but I think it's done. This is Everything Mascara. I don't think I cared for it. I'm not going to bore you on camera with every single one of these liners, but I will go through them um, and see which ones I want to toss. I really only use a few. Um, you know, I use my Chanel a lot, and I actually use this a lot. And I bought it in the gray color, the L'Oreal. This is that uh, smoldering eyeliner, and again, it's in the gray. I use this a ton because it's not too harsh like black. Um, love it. And then as far as down here, these are just boxes and I keep like extra BB creams and extra um, foundations down here. So this isn't anything that I really need to go through. I do clear out the boxes um, from time to time though. All right, so checking out the first uh, drawer here. I don't think I used this one this much. This was, I think, one of the last ones I bought before they changed the packaging. But I know all of these are old. I actually have a backup of foiled because it's been one of my like all-time favorites so I can always use that if I want so I think out of these two I'm gonna keep this one because I don't think I used it much it smells fine it doesn't look weird but I'm gonna get rid of this one um, I'm really bad about getting rid of lip gloss I don't know why that should be one of the first things you get rid of but I'm weird about that these two are fairly new or newish. I really need to get rid of probably all of these and really the only one I kind of like anymore, I used to love Cosmo, um, is this one. So I might keep this one. This is in the color Nude Peach. Oh, and I'm going to keep beige and that's it. The rest of these can go. These, I can't remember how long ago I bought them. Of course, that should tell me something. And being in this squeeze tube, I feel like they do break down um, before anything else. So let me look at these. Okay, so for this drawer, um, basically there's a lot of them that can be thrown out. Matter of fact, all of these Buxom 
except for this one. I think Sophia, I've never opened it. I don't, and um, I don't like these two colors, so I get rid of that. This is like extremely old, but I loved the color. I don't think I've used that. Um, again, I think this is pretty new. This is a cover girl. It's like that two step. This is one of my all time favorite lip glosses. I've mentioned it, but look how separated it's disgusting. I kept it for color so I could kind of see if I could find something similar. I don't know if you guys can see the color, if it's going to pick it up, but it's called summer baby and they don't make this one anymore, but it was probably one of my all time favorite glosses ever. Um, I don't use these. I like the colors, but I, if I remember correctly, they feel really nasty on the lips. This one's not too old. Um, I know this Sally Hansen one is old, but it's a gorgeous color, so I'm getting rid of that. And I never did care for this one, so I'm getting rid of that. Um, and I don't care for this one. So I think the rest of these are decent, and I can keep these in this drawer. But look at that. <laughs> It's totally full, now it's half full. My memory card was actually full, so off camera I got rid of about five lip liners, but I'm really bad about getting rid of lip liners, and most of mine, you can tell, are like in the nude, mauve kind of pink shade. I do have like a couple of red, but um, I don't know, I go through stages of which ones I like to use. Um, this and this, this especially needs to be cleaned out for sure. I feel like I cleaned out my lipsticks not too, too long ago, so, um, I really don't have any that I want to get rid of that I remember. Cause like I said, I, I did just do this not long ago. I didn't do it on camera, but I was just, I think needing some more room. I kind of separate mine by color. So anyway, I think those are okay. These are kind of some of my most used lip glosses. They get, um, and then of course the overflow out here, they get, you know, rotated out. This is a Tarte Lip Surgeons, a kit. Um, I've kept the whole kit, but there's probably a few of these I really need to get rid of. And then these are all of my um, NYX Butter Glosses, which I love. Again, just went through the lipsticks not long ago, um, rotating them out for like spring colors. I'll have to decide on these. Um, I may keep all of these for now and see what I use um, in the next upcoming months. A little pile I'm getting uh, rid of. Definitely would love to um, give a few of these to people I know that might like them. Like I said, these two things I might actually sell since they were limited edition. Here's my little pile again, uh, getting rid of all this. And then you can't tell how full that is, but it's extremely full of things I've actually tossed. 